Hey guys, I am Quinn and I'm Josh and today we have this 4th gen 1500 and we're installing our brand new mod series low profile bumper. <laughs> So Sean came to us because he has a few problems. Uh, first of all, he lives in the city and this system sticks out 16 inches, so a foot and a half. Uh, second of all is that he does some logging roads. And right now our clearance for a front tire is sitting at a measly 13 inches. So. We've got our low profile bumper that houses a winch. It has way more light so you can see off road, uh, as well as he needs a two inch receiver on the front to mount a bike rack. So uh, our bumper solves all those problems. All right, we're gonna get started. We'll pop the hood, disconnect the battery, chalk the tires and get this Jay Leno looking thing off. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is to take this cover off with uh, Push button tool. I don't know. Yeah. They're going to talk about that on the forums. That was smooth. And remove the grill. A 10 millimeter socket. So we're going to pop this clip out. So once you get the cover open, you reach in here, find the white clip and you'll push that up to help disconnect the headlight. After we get the clip in the inner fender pushed up, there are two 10 millimeter bolts to take out. Kind of pull the light towards you. So this is the part that you have to push up on. So it holds the light in like this, and then you reach in through here, you push this up, and it'll release the light. So we're just gonna rip off this winch system on the front. So there are two plugs here. This one is for the fog lights, and this one's for the sensors if you have them. So we just have to disconnect those before we start to take the bumper off. So we're gonna pull off the plastic bumper. It's held in on the sides with two little tricky fasteners. So there's a bolt with a 10 millimeter head, that gray one right there that fastens from the back. So I just pulled back this fender flare a little bit. You can just get a ratchet. I've got this little right angle tool. Yeah, I'll get my head in the way for a second. And buzz it out. And that's gonna release that. Now we just have four 10 millimeter fasteners underneath the bumper to take off here. So we'll do that now. So this car bumper is just held in now by a bunch of clips. Starting at the wings and just rip it out forward. Right, and then after we get the front cover off, there's a few more plastic bits to take out with the 10 mil. Okay, now it's time to remove this bumper, if you want to call it that. And to do so, there are three nuts on either side, on each frame rail, that are 18 millimeters. One on the top here, two on the bottom.
So this would be where your factory tow hooks are, and it's time to take those off now. Tow hooks or logs in, retained with half inch grade eight hardware. Uh, next step is to install these studs on either side of the bumper. This is what holds the wings with the fog lights on. So insert from the back through the hole, grab your 3 8 push nut, just get it started. A socket, I'm using a 13 mil here. And that's where we're gonna retain it in place. Repeat for five more times. So same process, retaining washer. We are installing our fasteners. You don't have to do these two. Okay, so we went ahead and pre-installed the lights and now we're going to pre-install the wings. Okay, this truck has sensors, so we're gonna remove them from the factory bumper. Each bumper's a little bit different, but essentially, carefully, with a little flathead screwdriver, pull these ears back on the top and bottom. Sensor will come out, keep that plastic part on. And then on a steel bumper, these will depress and pop out. So you'll squeeze some tabs on the side. This one is a sport and it's molded right into the bumper. So we have purchased uh, the bezel that goes on here. Uh, part number's on our website. And uh, they'll be needed for the install on the mod bumper. So we have the bezels that we pulled from uh, factory dealership. But if you don't have sensors, simply install these plugs. They just snap into place there. Can't even see them. So take the sensor, two little tabs on the, the bezel facing down. And slide that in from the front. Nice snug fit so they don't come out. And then starting at the driver's side, because that's where the plug is, now take your sensor harness. And just slide that in, making sure these ears here clip into place. It's very important that these sit horizontal. If they sit vertical, they will go off. Just give you a false positive and then just carry your sensor through the whole bumper, doing that for each uh, one. There's six on this bumper. Okay, we pre-installed these lights on top that uh, our customer supplied, and then we've got a bull bar option that's the high rise here, and this will go over to install this. Slide onto the top, and put in the supplied hardware, which are these stainless button heads. Covering it, which is retained in place with washer and a nut. So the stock 1500 trucks have this silly bumper headlight interchange underneath the headlight. Uh, the 2500, 3500, and Rebel trucks use this headlight lower. I think it's called the lower headlight filler panel, and it is going to go right here. So using that same piece of hardware that we pulled from behind the fender here, we're gonna insert it through that hole and into that hardware here and tighten that down with a 10 millimeter. And then this plastic screw here We'll thread right in and we'll just tighten those up and repeat on the other side. Okay, so we've got all the wiring hooked up to the light again. We're gonna reinstall it. 
get it pretty close and then it'll just you'll feel it push in just like that there we go now with the headlight in we can adjust the gap and re-snug that down all right now we've got the headlights reinstalled we're going to reinstall the grill Threaded fasteners on the center two and the plastic threads on the outer two. So we got a ton of room to party now. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is put the winch right here. First step is uh, these big heavy duty quarter inch brackets that we sell and they slip right underneath uh, the horns here with this uh, hardware holes, these hardware holes towards the inside. So we'll just go up underneath the frame horn there. Leave it a tad loose because we're going to have to shift it back and forth. Pick up the winch cradle, cradle it, hold it like a, a baby. We're going to slide the hardware towards the outside. And again, just finger tight for now. Now we can pop the winch in place. Actually, before that, this customer is getting a hitch on theirs, which is can be purchased as long as you have a winch tray or basket or cradle. Winch option. Winch option. selected. And half inch grade eight hardware. We have the winch cradle installed, we have our new front hitch installed, and now we're going to put the winch in. Alright, so now that we have our winch dropped onto the winch tray, we have also pre-installed the control box relocation wiring. These wires, and yeah, red to red, yellow to yellow, black to black. And we also have our ground cable goes along the bottom here. You can reach up through the bottom of the winch cradle to install that. So I've got the winch control box remotely mounted up in here. It sits tightly here. You can still access the plug for it. Keeps it uh, way out of the elements. Really easy to access. Just extends the life of your winch. It's a pretty much a no brainer. All right, we got this truck, we got this bumper. I made them. It is nice that they're left. 10 gauge. 10 gauge. Just uh, line the pitch. Pour it away here. So now that we've got the bumper positioned how we want it on the truck, we're going to finish up tightening these three bolts. I get the fair lead on, square it up, and the slots. We've got these nice holes on the side you can access that. So now that we have these bolts all tightened up, we're just reinstalling the fog light harness and the sensor harness as well. I'll flex. So these three-piece bumpers can take a hit just as good as any one-piece bumper, but uh, we still add extra hardware to support it. And so that's going to tie in. We've got this bracket here. It's going to slip over the big body mount bolt. I'll show you in a second. Right here, if you can move the light. Right there. And it's going to go up and connect right here. Another feature on it is that there's holes here to zap strap this fender already how much clearance we've gained. Hole, larger hole for the body mount. This piece there goes against there. Tuck that around the top first. That's a 
front with the finger, and then up right here, and go through this hole, right there, through the hole of the bracket, washer, and 3 8 nut. Crank those back down, and we're almost finished. So you can see right away the amount of clearance we've gained. Uh, substantial. We'll get a measurement on it after, but that bottom lip of the bumper was down here. Yeah, big performance increase. Now we're going to attach this fender. I'm not sure if any, any companies actually address this issue. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna drill some holes, just hold it up against there, drill those holes, and zap strap it in place, and then just trim along that bottom line. That way they don't flop around. All right, I'll tie it up. Fender tied up. What were we originally, 13 and a half? Right down there. Now, 26 and a half. I'm not sure if I'm much of a numbers guy. That's about a 100% improvement. And it looks good, protects just as much, if not more. A lot more here. Yeah, that's uh, stiff. 